June is Men's Health Month, a time to maybe remind that guy in your life to take better care of himself. The numbers show that men do not live as long as women. Why do men have a lower life expectancy? Good question. WCCO's Jeff Wagner explains the challenges and how men can increase their lifespan. Why do you think the life expectancy is lower for men? They don't like going to the doctor or the dentist. How do you know that? My husband hates it. <laughs> I have to nag him to go. It's a well-known fact. Not eat right, lose sleep. That men, on average, don't live as long as women. For over 100 years, for pretty much the entirety of the 20th century, men have not lived as long as women, primarily because of heart disease and cancer. Dr. David Hilden chairs the Department of Medicine at Hennepin Healthcare. The second would be lung cancer, and it's almost exclusively because men smoked more for most of the last century. Currently, the life expectancy for a man in the U.S. is 74.8 years. For women, it's 80.2, a difference of a little more than five years. But back in 2010, the gap was smaller, just 4.8 years. Meaning, despite modern medicine, men have struggled to shrink that difference. How have those causes changed in recent decades? Yes, yeah, since about the turn of the century, or especially since about 2010, men are dying at higher rates than our women due to substance use, overdoses, and unintentional accidents. Accidents include car crashes, falls, and other risky behaviors like drugs and alcohol. The COVID-19 pandemic also caused a quick and steep drop in life expectancy. That's probably because men were just ill to begin with, just, uh, just as they were the last hundred years. They had more heart disease, more lung disease than COVID hit them harder. Life expectancy is back on the rise the further we get from the pandemic, a number that can keep growing with some simple lifestyle changes. Sleep is like the ultimate recovery tool. What are the steps someone can take to increase their life expectancy? Uh, lead a less sedentary lifestyle. That could be as rigorous as exercise or gentle as gardening. The point being, get your body moving. Probably more is attributable to our diets than we realize. A diet with lean meats, leafy greens, and less processed food is key for heart health. Stress and mental health. I would really focus on those. Just stop home, spend three days by yourself and like come back refreshed. Lastly, see a doctor and not just when something is wrong. They can help you with your diet. They can help you with your blood pressure. They can help you to stay healthy. With photojournalist Jose Pascual. You live one life, so take it easy. Jeff Wagner, WCCO News.